This is my house, to be exact, the ruins of it. My mother, husband, my little children, and I lived in it before the Georgian fascists attacked my hometown. And here was my shop. It gave us extra earnings. And now we have no shop, no home. Maria shows us round the wreckage. Her fur coat, the only luxury she has left in this world. Before the war, she'd given the place a fresh lick of paint. Her efforts were in vain. But her stoicism and her pride are what keeps her going. My house may be broken, but I should not cry. I must live for the future, for my children, and for my Ossetia, Ossetia's independence. Maria points out her baby's cot half buried under the snow. And salvaged among the wreckage, this book of poems by Kosta Hergorov, Ossetia's father of literature. Well, there's one phrase that's particularly poignant, and roughly translated it reads, I have never known happiness, but I'm willing to forego my happiness as one single step which could lead my people to freedom one day. Well, it's this poem that's inspired Maria to keep going through all the hardships in the hope that she and South Ossetia can see freedom from joy one day. South Ossetia has declared its independence and this is recognized by Russia, but it remains a fragile freedom, the majority of people not yet feeling its effect. This is the village of Hetegorova, named after Ossetia's best-loved poet. It bore the brunt of Georgia's first attack, with 90% of houses damaged. Margarita's house was one of them. She's a self-sufficient farmer, and lacking the ready cash to rebuild her home, she's had to sell off many of her animals. Margarita once lived side by side with neighboring Georgian villagers, but with her livelihood now crushed, she's struggling to find forgiveness. We used to be civil towards each other, but everything changed when they destroyed our houses. We will never understand why they did this to us. Back in Sinval, many families are living in temporary accommodation. At least they have shelter, but still no gas central heating, no hot water, no running water. Life is a struggle. They've not seen compensation yet from the South Ossetian government or from Russia. But many people here do have a dream. To be awarded one of these houses currently under construction in the Sinval region, over 500 new homes funded by Moscow's city government and aptly named the Moscow Quarter. South Ossetia's project manager talks me through the model village. A school, kindergartens, a sports hall and house of culture. Completions planned for September this year. Although no one knows who will be deemed worthy of a house like this, a glimmer of hope is in the air. Everyone is worried about friends, relatives whose houses now lay in ruins. And this construction project is giving them hope that those in need will soon have a solid roof over their heads. Life does go on here. And against a backdrop of bombed out buildings, young women strive to look their best. While young boys play as only they know how. And with the sun now shining on Simbal, People sit and contemplate what will come with spring. Leah Ferguson, RT in South Ossetia.